Hey you animals, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have an awesome hip core leg video that is gonna be super fun for me to go over with you guys. You're gonna see me sweat and sweat and we're gonna burn and squeeze up those legs, our hips and definitely into our core. We're gonna work on mobility through our legs and controlling our body weight with our legs as well and definitely always through engaging our core and our breath with every movement. Uh, so if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, posting new workouts at least twice a week, so hit that notification bell, and we can do these pretty much anywhere. So anywhere you guys find yourselves, no excuses, let's get our workouts in. So for this one, I have a chair with me. Anytime I'm doing leg movements, I really like having a chair close by. For one, I can sit down in it if I'm really tired and I don't have to sit on the floor, it helps me get up again. And two, I can increase my range of movement through any type of standing movements that I'm doing for my hips. And it's just a really awesome way to hit those hips, doing them from standing as opposed to from a table or on the ground all the time. And those different angles are gonna hit them way harder. And the combination of all of that is gonna be so much fun for our hips and our legs. So if you have one, awesome. If you don't, anything you can kind of lean on a little bit is gonna be good. And if you find you don't even need to use it, that's even better because you guys are machines. All right, so we're gonna do our intervals to start to get our body loose and goosey and warm and sweaty. And then we have three awesome circuits to go through just with a little bit of jumping. But let's crush those legs. All right, starting with jumping jacks. Ready and go. Let's get that body flowing. Take nice deep breaths. Shoulders and arms moving. Everything is connected, so we don't wanna go through ignoring any part of our body when we go through these workouts, but there won't be any push-ups, I promise. All right, 15 seconds. Bounce, bounce, bounce on those toes and take those big deep breaths. Three, two, one, and time. Good, take a couple breaths. We're not gonna take too long of a break. The next one, I'm gonna be in a squat. My feet are gonna step slowly in, in, out, out. At the end, I'm gonna squat three times. So from here, step in slow, slow, out, out, squat. One, two, three, and down. In, in, out, out. One, two, three, and down. And again, in, in, out, out, squat. Two, Three, back down, keep it up, in, in, out, out, one, two, three, down, couple more times, in, in, out, out, one, two, three, down, in, in, out, out, one, two, three, and relax, good. The next one's gonna be in a sumo squat, work on stretching out that groin, and squeezing our glutes when those knees push out. So we're gonna be in a sumo squat, regular position, but for my pulses, I'm gonna take a step forward, work on keeping that weight on the one leg that's supporting me, and we're really opening up those knees. So from here, I'm gonna take one foot, step forward, pulse one, two, three, step in back. Before I step, I lift my heels, work those ankles and calves, and down, other side. One, two, three, back down, lift, and down, step one, two, three, back, lift, and down, step one, two, three, back, lift, and down, one more each side, ready, one, two, three, back, lift, and down, step one, two, three, back, lift, and relax, nice, that one burned very nice. All right, so for these movements, I really want you to focus on stretching out, so that one was for our groin. Now we're gonna work mountain climbers into a scorpion, so I want us to stretch those hip flexors, so when we lift our leg, there's gonna be no resistance through it. Starting right now, 10 mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10. Come down, arms out, scorpion. One, open up that hip flexor, and two. So feel the glutes, squeeze, squeeze to open the flexor. Ready, one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And down, open up so those two opposites, the glute will move against that hip flexor resistance. And back up, couple more times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, open. Ah, feels so good. And back up. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. Down, 
open and open. And one more time, let's do it. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. Back down, open and open. And relax. Now the last three we're gonna do on our backs, working our core and our hips. So the first one we're gonna lie down flat, working those hip flexors and core, moving our legs. So we're gonna keep our shoulders up and engaged and move our legs a couple different ways. So follow me, my arms are up, shoulders off the ground, my legs are slightly separated, I bring my knees in, crunch, back out, bring my legs up, crunch my shoulders up, one, two, and down, legs down, knees in, legs down, legs up, crunch, one, two, and down, knees in, breathe in, legs up, and fold, one, two, and down, a couple more times, knees in, and out, legs up, one, two, and down, one more time, knees in, and out, legs up, crunch, one, two, and relax, good job you guys, big nice breath, first set is always the hardest, like we know, until that body feels looser, six seconds, we're going to start in a bridge this time, so this time, after our bridge, we're gonna do a side bend crunch. Then right from here, we're gonna to try to crunch up and twist across. So working those obliques a little bit more. Ready, hips up, bridge. Squeeze the glutes, the hamstrings. Hips down, little crunch, side bend. Now from here, swing as little as you need to. Up and twist and back down. Hips up, bridge. Hips down, little crunch, side bend. Crunch up to the knee and then twist across. And then back down, ready, up hips. Down hips, little crunch, side bend. Up and twist and back down. And again, up hips, hold it. This is the last one, so let's really squeeze out those glutes. And down slow, little crunch, side bend. Up and twist and relax. The last one's gonna work on loosening up our back. Definitely working our core. So lean back as much as you need. We're gonna windshield wipe our legs up and over, no pulses. I just wanna work on that range through our legs and our hips. So sitting down with our palms on the floor, feet point out, we're just gonna go up to one side as low as we can, up and over to the other side. Up and over, up and over, up and over and up and over. A couple more, up and over, up and back and again. And over, one more time, and again, squeeze that core, and over, and relax. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's give it 20 seconds. We're gonna go through that two more times, and then we're done with this one, kind of like a warm-up stretchy before we get into the real, real fun, juicy work. That's it, one more set. So like I was saying on this, these warm-up uh, intervals that we're doing, a lot of them have lots of stretchy movements in them, so take advantage of that. It's gonna make the rest of your workout way more effective, the looser you get through all these areas, your groin, your hips, your glutes, and definitely your hamstrings. All right, starting with the jumping jacks in three, two, one, and go. Sit deep breath still. Control that breathing as relaxed as you can until it can't anymore. All right, 10 more seconds, a little bit more. Almost there, three, two. My seconds are extra long, so I trick my students into working harder at the end of the set. One, and time, giving away secrets right now. Ready, and hold that squat. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Step, step, out, out squat. One, two, three, and down. In, in, out, out, up, up, up. Keep it up, you guys, in, in, out, out. One, two, three, down, in, in, 
out, out, one, two, three. One more time, ready? In, in, out, out, one, two, three, and relax. All right, a couple more seconds into our sumo movement with the step. Really push those knees open. When we lift the heels, let's squeeze those calves and work that ankle mobility. Ready? And go. Step forward. One, two, three. From the bottom back, lift and down. Step one, two, three, back, lift and down. Step one, two, three, back, middle, lift and down. Step one, two, three, back, middle, lift, down. One more each side. Ready? One, two, three, step, lift. Those glutes ready. Step one, two, three, back, lift, and down. Good. There's a dragon in my glutes. It's only going to get hotter. All right. Ten mountain climbers. Two scorpions, these ones feel awesome, but try to use the glutes to move your leg. Again, we're gonna focus a lot on that because that's the muscle that's gonna be pulling our leg back. Super important movement for anything that you do. Ready, and go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down, engage over, and over. And back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Down. Move and over and back. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, over, oof, and over. And one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down, over, and over, and relax. All right, 10 seconds, starting on our backs flat. When you bring those knees in, keep those shoulders crunched up so we can contract and squeeze the entire front of our body here. Arms up, legs up, ready. Knees in, squeeze, and out. Legs up, crunch, one, two, and legs down. Knees in, and out. Legs up, crunch, one, two, and down. Knees in. And out, legs up. One, two, back down, a couple more, knees in. And out, legs up. One, two, and down, last one, knees in. And out, legs up. One, two, and relax. Oof. I woke up with some tender abs today too. Yesterday was a doozy, so this feels fantastic right now. I love when you feel them literally relaxing the tension, easing out of them. It's a pretty cool feeling, like popping a big zip. That doesn't hurt. All right, on, the, on your backs. Glute bridge, ready, and lift. Hips down, little crunch, side bend. Now keep that position as you come up and twist. And back down, lift. Hips up, little crunch, side bend. Up and twist. And down, good, keep it up, up. Hips down, little crunch, side bend, up, and twist, and back down. Get one more, lift those hips, hold that bridge a little longer. Hips down, little crunch, side bend, up, and twist, and relax. The windshield wipers up and over. And then we're gonna go through one more time this set, but a little quicker. We're gonna shave 10 seconds off each exercise. All right, we're starting in four, three, Two and go up. Try to bring them as low as you can. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. That's it. Keep it up, you guys. Deep breaths. Breathe out in the middle. Breathe in on the ends. One more time, ready, over, and over, and relax. Open up those legs or stretch how we want. All right, let's take one more little break, and then start from the beginning with the jumping jacks again. 
shaving off some time. So we can move quicker if we want, or focus on deeper reps and bigger stretches if we want to. It's like a habit of mine. If I'm resting, my legs just open automatically. I think it's a karate thing, but it really helps with the mobility and with the recovery between sets two to go in a position like that. All right, one more set, starting right now, jumping jacks. That's it, you guys, keep it up, 17 seconds. So curious here, I wanna know how many of you guys did New Year's class? I was super excited with the turnout there. It was really cool to see people from all over the world doing it. Made my heart pretty happy. So if you wanna comment and time, shake it up down below. Tell me if you did it, what you wanna see next year in New Year's class too. And I can totally start making it with whatever you guys wanna see. We can add a little bit of this, a pinch of that. All right, starting, hold the squat and go in. In, out, out, deep squat. One, two, three, back down. In, in, out, out. One, two, three, back down. Keep it up. In, in, out, out. One, two, three, down. In, in, out, out. One, two, three. One more, ready, in, in. Out, out, one, two, three, and relax. All right, 13 seconds, and then our sumo steps. These ones are crushing the glutes here for me too, so really focus on those knees pushing out or tucking the glutes in. It's the same effect, it's just a different perspective. Ready, and step. One, two, three, step back, lift, and down, step one. Two, three, step back, lift, and down. Step one, two, three, and back, lift, back down. Step one, two, three, and back, lift, down. One more each side, one, two, three, step back, lift, down. Last one, one, two, three, step back, lift, and relax. Oof, what a burn. All right, the mountain climbers to scorpions. We can jump the number of mountain climbers if you guys want. Starting in five seconds, so we can do more scorpions or keep it just the same. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down, over, and over, and back up. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, over, Oops. and over, and back up. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, over, and over. One more time. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Back down, over, and over, and relax. All right, our three core movements to finish up the set, and then we're gonna crush the hips, get them extra, extra, extra warm and loose before we finish up with some more single leg movements. Starting in six seconds. Ready. Shoulders up, arms up, legs out, and go. Knees in, out, up, crunch. One, two, and down. Knees in, out, Legs lift, one, two, and down. Knees in, keep those heels flexed out so our leg is super engaged through the quad. One, two, when we're working our core, it's gonna help move the leg with only your core and keep a lot of hip flexor and quad out of that movement. One more time, in, out, up, one, two, and down. Whew. Yeah, so when we're working our core, we want to keep those heels flexed. It's going to keep the leg engaged without thinking so much about it. It's also going to lengthen your hamstring and give you a little bit more resistance 
through your core movements and make them more effective for you too. So keep that leg tight and the heel out. Starting in three, two, one, and hips up. Hips down, little crunch, side bend, lift, and twist. Back down, ready, up hips, down hips, little crunch, side bend, up, and twist. One more each side, ready, up, down hips, little crunch, side bend, lift, and twist, and back down, last one, up, hips down, little crunch, side bend, up, and twist, and relax. All right, let's give it 15 seconds. Work those windshield wipers. And then move on to our next sequence. Starting in five, four, three, two, and let's do it. Up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Keep it up, flex those heels. Keep those legs engaged. The leg is one piece right now. Be moved with your core. You have no knee. Just one solid piece of meat. One more time, over and back. And relax, good work you guys. All right, so let's take a nice 45 seconds, walk around a little bit, get some water. We don't need the chair quite yet. That'll be for our last two sequences. So this one, we're gonna add a little bit of jumping into it. That's the best way, uh, if we can, if it's available to us, to really hit every little part of our leg when we jump and when we land from your ankle all the way up to your core is gonna shoot and rip uh, and uh, fight to squeeze your body and your leg to stabilize you too. Some of those words are not words you wanna hear when I'm talking about legs. Rip in the good way, your muscles are gonna shoot. All right, so we're going for reps here. We're gonna do three sets. We're doing three reps down to the ground, three reps out of a table, working the hips again in the core, then the other side, three and three and three and three. So we're not gonna stop until we're done. So let's give it 10 more seconds. Starting with one leg forwards. All right, so from here, you're gonna take a nice, awesome curtsy squat. Shoulders are square, feel that stretch. You're gonna squat for one, two, three, four. Step back into a regular lunge. One, two, three, Four, come down, now jump off this leg as hard as you can. One, two, and then back to the curtsy. One, two, three, four, step back. One, two, three, four, set it up. One, two, and again. One, two, three, four, step back. One, two, three, four, up, up, and relax. Good, the moving leg is gonna be moving again through our table. So not the one that was squatting. We're gonna lift our knee to the side for one, two, three, bring it under, crunch your belly, reach the arm, breathe in, breathe out. And two more, one, two, three, under. Breathe in, breathe out. And last one, one, two, three, under, breathe in, breathe out. And standing back up. Whew. One down, five more to go. Ready, and step behind. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, four, launch, launch, and up. Ready, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, launch, launch, and up. Step behind, one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four, launch, launch, and up. Ooh, that feels awesome. All right, ready, to the side for three. Don't let that opposite elbow bend. One, two, three, under. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out, crunch. And down. One, two, three. Under. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out. And down. One, two, three. Under. Breathe in. Breathe out. Huh, lovely. And standing back up. All right. Back to our first leg. 
This is tough. Ready, step behind. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, launch. One, two, back up. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, launch, launch, up, step back. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, launch, launch, and shake it out down to the ground. Huh. After this, it's half though, so not so hard after all. Ready? One, two, three, under, breathe in, breathe out, and plant the hand. One, two, three, under, breathe in, and out, and last one. One, two, three, under, breathe in, and breathe out. And standing back up. Big breath in, hold it, and let it out slow. All right, let's do it. Ready, step behind. One, two, three, four, step back. One, two, three, four, launch, launch, and up. One, two, three, four, step back. One, two, three, four, launch, launch, and up. Step back. One, two, three, four, back. One, two, three, four, launch, launch, and relax. Just for a second, back down to the floor. All right, three to the side. Ready? One, two, Three, under, long reach. Breathe out, to the side. One, two, three, under, long reach. And breathe out. Last one. One, two, three, under, long reach. And breathe out. And standing back up. All right, you guys, one more set. Let's take 10 seconds. Man, 10 seconds fly by. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, step back. One, two, three, four, launch, launch, and up. One, two, three, four, back. One, two, Three, four, launch, launch, and up. Last one, one, two, three, four, back. One, two, three, four, launch, launch, and huh, very nice. All right, to the floor. Ready, and one, two, three, under. Breathe in, breathe out. And again, one, two, three, under, breathe in, and out. Last one, one, two, three, under, breathe in, and breathe out. And six out of six, coming up. Let's do it, step behind, one, two, Three, four, back. One, two, three, four, launch, launch, and up. One, two, three, four, back. One, two, three, four, launch, launch, last one, ready? One, two, three, four, back. One, two, three, and launch, launch, and uh, down to the ground. Huh. Ready, and to the side. One, two, three, under. Breathe in, breathe out, and back down. One, two, three, under. Breathe in, and out, and last one. One, two, three, under. Breathe in. And out. Whew. 
All right, don't you dare sit down. Stand up, shake up the legs. Take a quick walk. Take some nice deep breaths. After a few of those, get some water. All right, this is it. We got two more circuits left. And these are the ones we're gonna need that chair for to help us support our body so we can get that leg lifted nice and high. So, I'm gonna use the lower part of the chair. If I need it, it's there. But if I can do it without, then I can always try to finish the movement without the chair as well too. Take another 20 seconds. I need a towel. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna squat down on one leg, my step up squat, down, up. I'm gonna throw a slow front kick, just like I'm doing a pistol at the end, squeezing out that thigh. I'm gonna bring it back down, up. My knee is gonna point down, and I'm gonna pull it back. Now from here, my body stays straight. Once I feel like it's back as far as it can go, that's when I'm gonna fold forwards. Grab the chair if you need, or right to the floor. From here, you're gonna extend the leg and pulse for one, two, three, four, five, and try to straighten out, back up again, and then squat down again. We're gonna do two of them, <sighs> two of them. And then we're gonna work a little core from a bridge, a little leg raise, and then we'll take a little break after two. So, follow me, question not, just follow, let's have some fun. Ready, and squat down slow to the ground, touch the ground when you need it, all the way down. Ready, and up, at the top, pick up your knee, and try to extend that front kick out, squeeze your quad, your core, and bring it back, squat down again, touch the ground, and bring it back up. Now our knee points down, ready? I want you to pull your knee, keep your foot tucked back as far as you can. Don't let your body bend yet. Once it's all the way, you're gonna breathe in, breathe out, crunch down, chair or floor if you can. From here, extend your leg and pulse. One, two, three, four. You're gonna feel a crazy stretch in your hamstring and straighten back out. And again, down, touch and up, knee up, extend slow, front kick, squeeze the quad, and back down, touch, and up, ready, pull that knee back, and back, no bend yet, breathe in, and breathe out, bend now, engage your stomach, come right to the floor, and extend, one, two, three, four, up, and pull it back. Ooh, that burn from the foot right to the hip. All right, down to the floor. So the squatting leg is gonna be on the floor. The one that was moving is gonna be over top again. So we're gonna work from a bridge into a knee crunch, into a leg raise, kind of like we did already. Ready, and breathe in, bridge. Now as you come down, shoulders up, your hips are gonna touch the ground, but try not to let that happen and lift them as soon as you can. Ready, up. If you can do it without touching your hips, that's pretty intense. And extend, down. Touch the ground when you need to. Down here, lift up again, bring your knee in. And back down to the floor. Hips up, hips down, crunch, and tuck the knee. And extend, come down, and lift up, knee in again, and bring it back to the floor. One more, lift the hips, ready, shoulders up, bring the knee into the chest, and extend, come down, and up. Now from here, we're gonna bring our elbow to our knee for six, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, and relax. <sighs> Take a nice second. You earned it. Time for the other side. Oof. All right. All right, the other side. So I'm extending my kick a little bit beside the chair. You guys can try to go over the chair too. That works. 
Okay, keep it close by. Just in case we lose our balance, we want to get the most out of every movement. So having that chair there will save it when we're really burning out on our leg. So we don't need to drop down. Ready? Touch the floor. Tuck it up. Knee up. And extend. Squeeze that quad. Tight core, strong glute. Bring it back. Step down. Touch. Up. Knee points down. Pull it back. Shoulders back. And breathe in, breathe out, folding forwards. Crunch at the bottom, feel that stretch, extend the leg. Pulse for one, two, three, four, five. Keep a nice engaged quad and hamstring up. And pull it back. Nice, down, slow. Touch, up, knee up, and extend. Bring it back, squat down again, slow. Touch. Up, knee points down, roll it, squeeze the glute, the hamstring, breathe in, breathe out, crunch the belly, fold forwards. If you can, push into the floor with your core and extend. One, two, three, four, five, up, and standing. Ooh, that hamstring. All right, down on the floor. Ready, and cross the moving one over, lay down flat. Ready, and bridge, lift. Hips down, knee crunch. See if you can do it without the hips down. And extend, straight leg down, slow with control, flex the heels, and back up. Tuck the knee, press into your shin if you can, and bring your foot back down. Breathe in. And hips down, breathe out, knee crunch. And extend. And down slow. Bring it back up and tuck. And back there. Last one for this set. Ready, hips up. Hips down, crunch. And extend. Hips down, leg down. Bring it back up. Elbow to knee for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And relax. Ooh, we got one more set per side of that. Now we got one more sequence similar, working a little bit more the outside of our leg, our glute on the outside, and our obliques. Huh. And we should be so nice and warm and toasty that we literally feel our muscles moving and strengthening with every squat we're doing. We're like liquid wrapped in skin right now. Ready, and squat down slow, touch, and up, ready, knee up, squeeze the quad, extend front kick, nice strong leg, ready, bring it back, and down, touch, and up, knee points down, pull it back, breathe in, breathe out, fold forwards, touch the chair or the floor if you can, strong hamstring, and extend, one, two, three, four, five, up, and pull back through. Good. One more time like this. Ready? Down. Touch. Up. Knee up. And extend. Strong quad. Bring it back. Down. Slow. Touch. And press. Ready? Knee pulls back. Feel that butt. Breathe in. Breathe out. Crunch down to the floor or the chair. And extend the leg. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Up and through. Ooh, that feels great. All right, down to the floor. <sighs> Cross the moving one over. And let's do it. Hips up. Ready? Press into the floor. Shoulders up. Bring your hip your knee to your chest as soon as you can. And extend. And down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring it up and tuck. And foot back to the floor. Breathe in, and breathe out, shoulders up, knee to chest, extend, down, slow, breathe in, and breathe out, up, and tuck, and foot back to floor, hips up, Oof. hips up, hips down, a little crunch, knee to chest, and extend, hips down, leg down, lift it up, elbow to knee, ready, one, Two, three, four, five, 
six, and relax. Oh, very nice. One more set on the other side, and then we got one more circuit, similar but different, working out those legs some more. Oh. All right, I love these exercises that work on my strength and my mobility at the same time. I love doing more with less, getting as much done with one rep as possible. Ready, squat down slow, touch and up. Knee up and extend. Bring it back, squat down slow. Touch and up. Knee points down, pull it back. Breathe in, breathe out, fold. Engage your stomach, press the chair or the floor, extend your leg. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that leg strong, ready and up. And back down slow. Touch. Up, knee up and extend. Bring it back, step down slow. Touch, up and pull the knee back. Breathe in and breathe out, fold. To the floor or the chair, strong abs extend. One, two, three, four, five, up and through. Ooh. Down on the ground. Let's finish this set. Cross, moving one over, and hips up, bridge. Shoulders up, knee to chest. Extend, leg down. Breathe in, breathe out, crunch and crunch. And foot back to floor. Breathe in, breathe out, crunch the shoulders, press into the floor, knee to chest, shoulders high. Extend and down, breathe in, breathe out, lift, crunch, foot back to floor, lift the hips, last one, ready, and shoulders up, knee to chest, extend, hips down, leg down, bring it back up, elbow to knee, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, and relax. Whew. That was something. All right, we got one more set left, one more circuit, sorry, two sets. Uh, so we've worked on moving our leg forwards back with that squat down the middle. Now we're gonna work on moving it side to side a little bit more, work on the outside of that hip, <sighs> and finish with the obliques. So for this one, I'm gonna turn the chair this way, because when I lean on it, I'm gonna wanna turn sideways at the end of the movement. So this one, I'm. I'm going to use the chair, and you guys might too, so keep it available for you. Try with, and then try without. Just like doing a push-up or movement from our knees and our feet, range of movement is key. All right, so starting the same way. Squat down slow. Touch and up. Extend front kick again. I love that forward reach. Squeeze the quad. And back down. And up. This time, instead of pulling it back, we're going to go to the side, so hold the chair if you need. One, two, three, four, down. Now we're gonna pull it back, grab the chair, and from here we're gonna open up sideways. So you can try to let go of the chair now if you want. Bring your elbow and knee together. One, reach, turn, and pull it back through. One more time, down, slow, touch, up, knee up, and extend that front kick. Bring it back, squat down slow. Touch, bring it up. Now keep the same tight knee here, lifting up to the side. One, two, three, four, down. Ready, extend, breathe in. Grab the chair if we need, turn over. So maybe let go of the chair if you can. Crunch and reach and turn and pull it back through. Oof. That really feels awesome on my foot too, straightening all those muscles from the ground up. All right, so we're gonna work into a side plank. The standing leg is gonna be on the floor here. So from here, we can go from our knees or our feet. We're gonna do four reps. So from here, I'm gonna go hips down, up as high as I can, elbow back, and elbow crunch. Hips down, up, elbow back, elbow crunch. And hips down, up, 
back, crunch, one more time, down, up, open, crunch, now I'm going to lift, let my hips come to the floor, I'm going to lift the top leg to elbow for 10, one, flex the heel, two, three, four, five, feel the oblique, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and relax, all right, let's work that leg number two, standing up, give it a little shake, and facing onto that chair, so, moving the chair over so you don't have to look at my butt, I'm going to take that right leg for me, so leg number two, squat down slow, touch the ground when you need it, and press up, pick up that knee, and extend slow front kick, feel that quad, feel your core, and down slow, Touch, press back up, and knee to the side, ready, one, two, three, four, and big forward reach, breathe in, find your balance, grab the chair, turn over sideways, let go if you can, elbow to knee, crunch, big reach, and turn back straight, and pull it back through, one more time, down, slow, touch, and press, knee up, and extend slow, front kick, feel that quad again, bring it back, squat down slow, touch, and up, ready, knee to the side, one, two, three, four, bring it down, big forward reach, and find your balance, grab the chair, turn over, let go if you can, elbow to knee, crunch, and reach, Unturn and stabilize and bring it back. Nice, you guys. Good work. All right, down for the side plank. Down on the floor, elbows on the ground, knees or feet ready. Hips down, up, open, close. Down, up, open, and close. Two more. Down, up, open, breathe in, breathe out. Down, up. Breathe in, breathe out, hips down, top leg lifts, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and relax. All right, this is it, you guys, we got one more set per side, almost there, we've journeyed right to the end, let's take some nice deep breaths, and let's sharpen that focus for the last set. Let's make it look just like the other ones, as strong, as stable as we can. Back to first leg. Ready, and take a breath. Focus that focus, ready, down, slow. Touch, up, and lift the knee, slow front kick, extend, strong quad, core and glute. Ready, down, slow, touch, and up. Bring the knee to the side, one, two, three, four, back down, forward reach, breathe in, find your balance, grab the chair, open up the chest, breathe in some more, breathe out, crunch, and reach, and unturn, and pull it back through, good work you guys, ready, down, slow, touch, up, knee up, slow front kick, extend, save it Nick, and back, good, down, slow, touch, up, tuck that foot up tight, knee to the side, one, two, three, four, and forward reach, breathe in, find your balance, grab the chair, turn over, let it go if you can, crunch, and reach, and turn, and pull it back through, nice you guys, all right, let's move that chair, one more time, down to the floor, side plank. Get those hips up as high as you can on those side crunches, ready, down, up, breathe in, breathe out, face crunch. Down, up, elbow back, elbow crunch. Two more, down, up, breathe in, and out, and down, up, open, and close and hips down, good, top leg up, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
and relax. All right, this is it. The last side, last set. Let's do this, ready? Find that chair, find your balance, find the focus, and come down slow. Touch, press it up, tuck up that foot as soon as you can. Ready, knee up and extend, slow front kick, and back, down, slow, touch, up, and to the side with the knee, one, two, three, four, ready, set it up, breathe in, big reach, find the chair, open up sideways, and let go if you can, ready, crunch, and extend, and turn, and pull it back, good work you guys, one more, down, slow, touch, up, Knee up and extend the front kick. See my wobbles. And down, slow, touch, up. Those wobbles are awesome. Stabilize those wobbles and embrace it. Ready? One, two, three, four. This is it. Ready? Breathe in, big forward reach. Squeeze that supporting leg. Grab the chair. Open up the chest. Let it go if you can. Crunch and reach and turn back and pull it back, oof, that felt awesome. Good work, you guys. Down to the side plank, let's finish up that core. Ready, and up, hips go down, up as high as you can, open, and crunch. And again, down, up, open, and crunch, and down, up, open, crunch. One more time, down, up, breathe in, breathe out and down. All right, 10 big ones to finish those obliques. Ready, flex the heel, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. <sighs> Take a couple deep breaths. Awesome job, you guys, working those hips, hamstrings, legs, always through the core, making sure we're working with balance and mobility so we can be as functional, as flexible as possible, make these movements feel easier and easier too. Something we can practice is the technique of these movements and the better we get at them, the better they're gonna feel and the better we're gonna feel about them and the more strong and stronger we're gonna get every time. Uh, so if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have, uh, then thank you so much. I checked out where you guys are coming from and it's so cool that I saw you guys are watching from all these different countries. That makes my heart so happy and um, so yeah, keep watching, keep working out. You guys are awesome. I love being able to share what I'm passionate about with people all over the world. It is so cool. So let's crush this here together. Let's keep working out hard and let's have some fun. I'll see you guys later.